Hey guys, it's Adrian, and today we're gonna learn about why am I a cartoon? No! Let me out of here! If the intro didn't make sense to you, then wait around till the end of the video. It'll all become clear again. If this is your first time watching Glue Studios, my name is Adrian, and this is Glue Studios, the location. We do visual effects, film, commercials, all this ridiculous awesomeness, and then we talk about it! The first story I have for you guys is about VES, which is the Visual Effects Society. There was an interesting article on Deadline.com that was talking about how they're trying to form a visual effects union. So, visual effects people have a base standard that they can get paid instead of having to work a ridiculous amount of hours. Here's an example. It took us 250 hours to do this short called This Press Conference is on Fire for College Humor. About 40 hours of this was me spent rotoscoping people out so we could put fire behind them. It's pretty much insane. And there were some crazy arguments that went along with this article because, in truth, most of the highest grossing movies of all time were really visual effects heavy movies, such as Avatar, Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, Harry Potter, Toy Story 3. And that's just five of the top ten, so I can see why they're trying to make it so visual effects artists are getting paid a proper amount. But enough about visual effects, let's talk about something else that's interesting. As some of you guys may know, I shamefully love romantic comedies. And I was watching this new trailer where this guy and this girl and they're in love and then they're having romantic problems and he forgets their anniversary and she's thinking of leaving him and he needs to get back. And then it said, starring Jason Segel, Amy Adams, Kermit the Frog, and Miss Piggy? That's right, they're making another Muppets movie, which is a complete throwback to my childhood. And I hope lots of your guys' childhood. And it's not a Muppet movie where it's just all Muppets. It's actually a lot of live cast and then a lot of Muppets as well. So I'm thoroughly excited about it because it's going to make me feel all nostalgic when I go and see that movie. But another movie that doesn't make me feel nostalgic at all, but instead makes me feel like putting on a dark robe and going fighting crime like the vigilante I am. Last week they started the ad campaign for The Dark Knight Rises, which is going to be amazing! Because if you guys remember back to the Why So Serious campaign where they posted I believe in Harvey Dent posters everywhere, all over major cities, all over the US, and then they went and they defaced them with the Joker smile on top of all of them and said, why so serious? That was an amazing ad campaign. They've started the new one with the villain Bane. You can go check out the official Dark Knight Rises webpage. Once you're there though, you're gonna realize that they're actually just chanting, the fire rises, and it's a black screen and there's nothing there. But if you tweet, hashtag, the fire rises, they will eventually send you this picture, which is amazing, because it's Bane and he's awesome looking. They're showing just enough without showing too much. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Your question of the week is, what is your favorite movie genre? Mine, as you guys know, is romantic comedies, because I normally pee sitting down. Anyways, until next time guys, whoosh! If you guys didn't get the intro, it's because you haven't seen Ev Money TV, so go check out him because we like to spread awesome. If you missed or didn't get the video last week, go check out Jake at Pineapple Boy Films. And because a lot of you guys are new and you guys probably don't know what Monday Affirmations are, here's the playlist to go check out Monday Affirmations. Until next time guys, yeah!